Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Hollow Duck and we are playing Crusader Kings 2 with the newest DLC, Jade Dragon. Welcome back. We're still um, trying to bring the Zoroastrians back from the brink against the Abbasid Empire with a very strong emperor. Um, I'm actually going to go and vote um, so that he owes me a favor because that will help me. Um, I can't really push anything against him at this point in time because he's just too strong. He's very well established. He has a crap ton of prestige, crap ton of piety. There's really not a lot I can do against him. So we're just going to try to lay low. going to wait until the um, realm piece is over. And uh, yeah, just let things take its course try to get somewhere here. We're still stressed, which is not good. It does not make me happy. Persian culture and Sunni faith. Why is that a thing? Come on, I did not set that. Why do you want to be a Sunni? It's not good. He's a secret Zoroastrian, but... Okay, rule of imprisonment law. I voted for him. So he can now imprison people at will if he wants to. That's a very strong law if you think about it. You can just do whatever he wants, I guess. If my son does not change to the Zoroastrian faith, um, I might have to kill him. Um, we might just have to change to elective, I guess. Stumbled into a court eating cookies outside the kitchen. A court apologized several times and then offered me a cookie as an apology for being my path. The cynic in me got the best of me. I lost myself in cynical comments about how the courtier was trying to poison me with baked goods, probably spoken out loud. I'm sorry, but that cookie looked suspicious. <laughs> okay, I gained some intrigue. That's nice. Getting there, only one more year. Also gaining a bunch of money. I like that. It's good. Sabo might fancy me. It's not appropriate, let's leave it. Gaining some piety too, I like that. Mm. I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Jamshid's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I had lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. No. I'm going to drink in your honor. Probably already had one drink too many when I'm joined at the table by an equally intoxicated man. It takes me a few minutes to realize, but it surely it must be Wally Horath. We spent quite some time drinking together and sharing our sorrow. Yay, let's be friends. Brothers and friends. It's nice. <laughs> Your yeah, acquaintance died of suspicious circumstances. All right, then. Granted a barony. Yeah, he, I mean, he has no reason not to like me. My marshal has initiated a massive recruitment drive. I take that. Why not? I have a thousand bucks by now. Did I repay the, the Jews? Yeah, I did. Hmm. I could go for a smith, actually invest my stuff into objects that increase my stats, but probably not a thing. We have the Abbasid Orthodox Revolt. Don't care about that. Just six more months and we'll be able to finally push um, further. Five more months. Getting ready. Probably want to attack this guy first. Although... Might be better to attack the holder of the Kurdistan title, which is him. He doesn't have a lot of money, which is good. I can probably just kick his butt with um, mercenaries. Yeah, he has this guy as his friend, the Emir of Galilee, who can bring another 2,500. So they can bring 5,000 troops if they work together. That's unnice. And on the one hand, I want to invest the money into building new cities and stuff. But on the other hand, I probably shouldn't do that. 
Okay, Khalif already managed to make peace again. Truces are expiring. 19 days left. The realm peace is gone. The Emperor, Son of Heaven, has died and has been succeeded by Li Liazhong. Like his predecessor, the new Emperor is known to believe in an open China. Apparently, he takes a special interest in Kurmistans, but frowns on Dravidian cultures. Business as usual, then. <laughs> like, all these, all these Chinese Emperors are just racists, <laughs> I guess. No, I can request a Chinese physician. Don't I have a physician? I think my physician died, actually. No valid candidates. Okay, give me a court physician. Okay. Oh yeah, that is a really good physician. Send my most sincere gratitude to the Emperor. Thank you very much. That's good. Um, the other guy has joined a war for Salerno. Well, yeah, we're ready to pursue our goals as uh, we see fit. Now this guy, um, I really would like to get Causiston. Shake of Causiston. We need to attack him. He's the one we need to attack. Um, he can bring 2.15 and he has no one else that he can pull into this. So I should actually be able to just take Causiston then. Declare war. Must have a valid Carlos's belly. I have no Carlos's belly? Okay, that's not good. I can have uh, and conquest this place against the Sheikdom of Kerman. What does he do? He has 1.7k. He has the Emperor. Pact is made with the following ties. I don't think the Emperor is going to come into this. But we have Abu Bakr. He can bring a thousand troops. I don't think I'm going to care much about that. But yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to go and attack the guy of Kurdistan for now. I'm going to claim Kurdistan. I'm going to pull our troops. All these guys. Actually, you can go down. Um, Raise you over here. I want these troops to come over there. And then, in terms of mercenaries, who's available? What? That's a lot of money for just 19 dudes. Can take those thousands for the five bucks. And these guys are pretty cheap. Because they only cost ten. The other guys are really expensive. Like these guys, the Mamluks. I mean, they're probably also pretty effective, but I can't afford the 62 um, per month. All right, so let's move them all over here. And we're going to fight them down. It's going to be all right. It's not a problem. Mm, I'm not leading any troops, right? Spouse. Reigning in Esfahan. That's good. It would be kind of nice if I could actually upgrade my hospital at some point, but I can't. <laughs> it's just not a thing that I can do. I live with it. It's alright. Okay, yeah, and his call is in his body. That's to be expected. Where are you going, Luriston? Can we catch him? Yeah, we can. So, oh no, actually no. He's going into Kurdistan. Let's try to catch him now. He's not moving. Um, let's try to go for our best fighters here. Not the guy with the 8 marshal, maybe. That's just wrong. Let's take these troops. We'll be there at the 9th of November, 17th of October. Man, they actually managed to um, to unite their forces. That's freaking annoying. Just going to stay here. Okay, just going to siege this place down. It's fine. Once he doesn't hold Kurdistan, it's going to be much easier to handle. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, he's taking my 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 stuff. I've won the siege of this place. Does not control Kurdistan. I control Kurdistan at the moment, so that's going to give me a ticking war score. But as long as he still has his troops united over here, um, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Well, yeah, I guess all I can do is siege stuff of his down while the war score ticks. And then just go after him. I'm losing money too. I mean, also gaining some, but... Yeah. Um, young Horath loves physical games and is developing a strong physique. Um, can make him into brawny. That's good. Should do his own thing. That's fine. Become brawny, my son. It's not a problem. Famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. I'm gonna ignore him. Maybe we can become humble. Yeah, this is really quick though. Sieging down those um, towns. He's gonna take my capital now. That's nasty. I lost Asfahan. Just siege places down. Come on. Yep, got that one. Gonna take these guys. And these guys should be dead now. Sanjanabar has converted to the Sunni faith. Are you freaking kidding me? That's incredible. Also very annoying. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna prepare that ground over there. Let's take that back. Take that back. Take everything back. It's good. Okay, we're already 63% towards winning. He's moving out now. Oh, what? He's coming towards me. <laughs> Let's see what he does. My war score is still ticking up. Let's move into Asfahan. Let's take my castles back. Okay, took that one, took that one. I don't want to take too long, actually. But we've got to take a little bit, at least. Mm, already 81%. I mean... I'm losing a bunch of money now. Let's try to go for the for the coup de grace. Maybe. Maybe we can make that happen. We have great leaders. Maybe the defensive advantage is too much though. Yeah, no, we're losing. We're losing. Crap. Okay, that's not good. That almost lost me the war. Okay, more mercenaries then, I guess. I'm gonna hire these guys. Should have hired these guys before, actually. I'm losing a bunch of money now. Yeah, once they united their troops, this war was going to be a lot more painful than I thought. No, my brother has been murdered. I've inherited a crap ton of titles, which is pretty shitty if you ask me. If you have to give up a brother for that. On the other hand, the realm inheritance is no longer a problem. Okay, we're 90% now. I guess if I take a couple of these holdings back, um, we're going to be able to win this war, no problem. Infidel demons in Ray are now a minority, and most people have embraced Sunni Islam. Why am I praising Allah? That's not a thing. Prepare the ground. 
I need Zoroastrian's back. Okay. Gotta make that happen. And I lost a very staunch, um... A very staunch helper with my brother. Yeah, let's enforce the demands now. And I've gained the emirate. The drugs to drop, he has one. Now, let me just bring down my troops. Mm, yeah, I have way too much stuff now in terms of demand size. I'm gonna give that all to my heir. That is the only thing that makes sense. So, Grand Landed title. Because it's all a bunch of mosques. Those baronies also need to be granted to him. Don't want to give him shakedoms. I think a hack is also also needs to go. Right, so he's a he has a bunch of titles. I mean he might probably give them to someone else, maybe. We'll see how that goes. For now, all I want to um is to become king. Okay, I'm at seven or six titles. Why do I still have Lion of Kushan? Oh yeah, I gave that to my brother as well. Still, that's probably good, holding on to that. More council support. I'm still losing money, but I also have 3,700 troops. I could probably just go ahead and take someone else. Who's your liege? This guy still. Mm, I'm not going to offer to join his war. Now we can break a truce. It'll cost me a lot of prestige though. I don't want that. But we can go for the de jour claim later on. Um, can we attack this guy? Declare war. Conquest of Arajan. So that's something that I can do. Why can't I attack him? He's on a pilgrimage. They're not going to be happy that I do that. But yeah, I want to, nonetheless. Young Horath has finally finished its education in the ways of intrigue. It turned out less well than expected. Um, let's invite him to the Loyal Magi. Do it. Cover up my face. I left the mosque. My quest unsuccessful. Really? What is going on, my son? I'm going to make him my chancellor. No, wait, no. You are going to be my chancellor, my son. Okay, spy master. Should probably choose someone who likes me at least a little bit. And then court imam. I don't need anyone, but I guess I could still go for research cultural tech. You're already doing things, and the scheming is probably fine. I'm going to fabricate a claim on Zeus. Maybe he's actually going to die. <laughs> um, uh, he already married. That's annoying. Just married a Sunni woman. That's not good. And he's lustful. Not good. Instituted... The title revocation allowed law in Zanjinabar. Hmm. Would really be nice if I could not pull him into the Loyal Magi. Has not been invited to join the Loyal Magi recently. When does that stop though? I don't know, to be quite honest. Let's just attack this guy. Declare war, conquest of Arajan. Declare 
declare war on a character it will cost you well we have a truce ends march 821 really we have two more years of a truce i guess only i have the truce with him okay well that makes it easier because then i can just attack these guys over here i do have my two titles um so i should be able to move on them right now and that will be fine well yeah i guess i'm just going to end it for right now thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you didn't tell me why in the comments so i can improve and if you want to see more of the series in the future please consider subscribing to the channel we're not that far away from actually being able to form the um persian empire almost there almost there so for now thanks for watching hope you join me next time bye bye